Peaches, welcome back to another episode of my new country living rags to riches challenge. It's going really well, as you can tell, absolutely nailing this. Doing such a great job on my little barn that I built for The Sims and then ripped everything out of when I added it to my game so I could make it extra rags to riches -y. Kill the babes, I'm sleeping, we can't talk now. So here is our little barn. We have no furniture because the story that I'm basically going with, it's a Stardew Valley ripoff. I said that my grandparents used to have this barn, it fell into disrepair, it has no furniture. The family wanted to sell it and just, you know, get rid of it. But I'm like, no, I want to try and turn it around because um, it's our family barn. I'd love to see it, like, come back to life and be a beautiful, profitable... Not profitable, it don't all have to be about capitalism, Claire, but like a beautiful, nice, functioning barn. And they've given me one year to turn it around. It's currently spring in my game. What I'm kind of thinking is my current game season length is 14 days. But I was looking at my calendar and I think I will be an elder by the time the year rolls round. So I was debating moving it to seven days. Will that affect my crop cycle? Will that mess everything up? I want you guys to let me know in the comments below right now. Let me know what you guys think I should do about the seasons. We also have our very first animal on the farm, which is of course our little chick. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm worried because as you can probably tell, yeah, we got wild foxes on this lot here. So there's a fox right there. And then there is my little chick apple right here. And I'm hoping it stays nice and safe. We added a few lot challenges just to make this a little bit trickier for me. As a reminder, the ones we've got are homey, which I just added. It was already there. I think it's nice. Great soil and natural well. As a lie, I'd added none to make them harder for me. But no, I did. I did. I did. Because we've got wild foxes, simple living. So I can't just go to my fridge and get food. I've got to either forage or buy my food in the little town center. And also gremlins. So everything here breaks a bunch as well. I was going to say that each season we mix out gremlins for like something else. Like maybe it becomes creepy crawlies or cursed or filthy. We keep making it quite difficult. I'd also like to give off the grid a go as well. So if we do change the seasons to seven, I'll change it every season and we'll do off the grid next. However, right now I am absolutely shattered. I smell, I'm hungry. I sent myself to the little new national park kind of lot last episode and I don't have a bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and send poor Simclair, who I did update the outfit for by the way, you know, cause we've been here a day. We've realized we look nothing like the locals. So we're like, okay, I'm gonna go and put my old grandma's barber jacket on and her hunter wellies just so I kind of fit in with everyone here. And this is where we sleep. I mean, it's a beautiful place to sleep. Look at that sunset. Look at that purple sky. It's a beautiful place to sleep, but yeah, things are definitely a little bit rocky, but we will try and improve things in this episode. Also, a little announcement for you guys. Because I worked on this park, I did two of the lots for it, and it was really cool and really exciting, and it's obviously an English park, and uh, an English, although... As of this week, I am also an Irish citizen, so dual citizenship for me. I wanted to do something special with Feeling Peachy, which is the merch store that we have for this channel. So we've actually created a Feeling Country drop. There are mugs, there are pillows, there's tote bags, there's hoodies, there's t-shirt, there's a bunch of stuff on there. It's all inspired by this kind of cottage core. Very like Englishy cute pumpkin, sunflower, mushroom aesthetic. There's a bunch of cute stuff on there, so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. Please go check it out because I think you guys are going to really like it. Like it. And it was really fun to do something inspired by cottage living. So yeah, go ahead and check out Feeling Country. And I am feeling country. Look at me go in my little new country rig out. Feeling very country. These foxes are making me nervous. My chick has gone in on its own. It's realizing that I'm not a great farmer. So chick has gone to sleep, which is great because I thought I was going to have to like send the chickens in. What I want to do is eventually be able to up... Can I upgrade the coop? Maybe not when there's a chicken in it. I want to upgrade it so that the it has a little alarm on and it scares the foxes away because I am a little bit nervous about my chick being eaten by foxes and I'm nervous for the chicken's life, obviously, but I'm also nervous for the $75 that I spent on the chicken because as you guys can probably tell, money is not something I have a great deal of. She also wants to chat with Thomas. I think she's kind of crushing on Thomas, but he did come over here with his wife, so I would just leave that well alone. We don't have time to focus on romance anyway. We're trying to sort the farm out, okay? So focus on the farm, not on your love life, Claire. Besides, I may be adding an updated version of Ali at some point in the future. So for now, although he does look a lot like Ali, let's face it, I clearly have a type. My type is not fruitcake because it is disgusting. All of my Sims have always hated this. Apparently it's a 50-50 chance. For me, it is definitely a 100% chance. But you can't turn your nose up at good food, okay? Because if I go to cook, I can't cook anything because I don't have anything. So you take that fruitcake and you enjoy it, okay? And I am wondering if I can buy any kind of sleepy surface. Just like anything. No, okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe even just the camper. Okay, to get a cot, I need 250 
35 simoleons. We are, oh, wait, how come I can buy you? <gasps> Cause debug is on. No, I won't cheat in that way. And I, I'm not gonna sleep on a pet bed. Okay, no, we won't cheat in that way. We will leave things well alone. And I have to keep sleeping on the bench for now. Also, since you got a bit of energy right now, I'm gonna keep you repairing things. Cause I think it's gonna be really helpful for us in the long run. So get your little repairy boots on and get some repairing done. Thank you. And oh my gosh, <laughs> handy, not dandy. Should Claire banish the self abuse and admit that she hates handiness? You've got two more things. No, this is just gonna work out really badly for you in the long run. But I also kind of do like if my Sims do, you know, express a like or a dislike. I kind of like to stick to it unless it's really annoying. So yeah, you now hate handiness. So you've got an extra. Oh, cause you, you sawed yourself, go easy. Got an extra reason to hate fixing the toilet now other than the fact that you're miserable. You also hate handiness. So yes, it's going really well, really, really well. And after all that fixing time to go back to sleep on my bench, I feel like her parents, my parents, cause she is me, I keep forgetting that. will be like ringing, be like, how's things going with the barn? And she like wakes up from the bench that she's sleeping on and like pulls the spiders and branches and twigs out of her hair. And she's like, this is fine. Everything's going fine. Don't visit, don't worry. I still need to do a bit of painting and whatnot, but yeah, stay stay away for now. It's going really fine, but it's definitely not. Oh, and we didn't actually make it to the bench. We fell asleep here instead. Oh, Claire, what do you like? Oh, oh, little fox. Little fox hanging around outside my house. I've seen this one before. Give me a fox whose name I can't say. Okay, Schnezhinka. Schnezhinka, the fox here, keeps walking by and giving me these eyes. Can I give it a fish? <gasps> Wait, why can't I give it the fish? Wait, what, 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 what? This is my fish. This is my only fish in the whole world. Why can't I give it that? I don't know. I really want to make friends with some more little critters though. I need to find my little bunny wabbit from last episode. Hannah, I need to find Hannah. I've not seen her around here in a little while, even though this is just... Oh, she's sleeping in there. Look. Oh, I saw a little, a little Zed come out. Oh, nice. I bet she's got a nicer bed than me. Because, yeah, they will help me out with my garden if I make friends with them. And also, it's just really cool to be friends with wild rabbits. You have to keep napping, babe. Snap all night long. Thanks. So, I need to try and make friends with some more animals. Also, this time capsule that I keep digging up is my main source of income right now. And you guys pointed out that because I gave myself, like, the loves the outdoors aspiration, I think. I always get two out of this every time, which is also really great. I somehow got bananas last episode. Don't really remember how or why, but... <gasps> Introvert. Have a sim do nothing social for 24 hours. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig that and I'm gonna plant these little plantains as well because why not? Can I plant stuff outside my lot? I don't really see why I, I need to be confined in my lot. This is a farm. I can farm this whole area if I choose, which I do, so I will. Oh no, it turns out I can't. That was just... <laughs> A dream that I had. These are gonna look really weird actually on an English farm, aren't they? You can't grow plantains in English. We well, probably could, but not easily. I wanna stick to law friendly. So I'm gonna sell these. Wait, can I not sell them? What? I can't sell them? Fine, they will be used as food. And here is what I'm currently growing. We got some pumpkins. We got some lettuces. We got some shroomies and we got some aubergines. And I am garden level four because literally all I can do is garden and talk to my plants and try and find animals to make friends with. Like a Disney princess. Also, did we decide whether these are good or bad? I didn't see anything in the comments. Is it just normal to have this many bugs around your crops? Why do I sound like I've never been near a plant in my life? But I've never seen this in Sims. I genuinely don't know whether it's a good or bad thing. Oh, and to add insult to injury, I also am PMSing in Sims right now. And it's making me nauseous. I've never personally had that experience in real life, but... Yeah, she's just not having a good day. And yep, we're eating the disgusting fruitcake again. I wish I could just use that as fertilizer. We don't have a shower, so what we do instead is just brush our teeth and wash our hands like 50 times in a row. And okay, I do get this. Now she's feeling overly sensitive. As Ali can attest, I do get that. Okay, I think we should go say hello to our little baby chicken. Oh my gosh, I call things baby chickens, but it actually is baby chicken. I'm actually saying it right forwards. I'm gonna go discuss preening methods with her and give it some fierce love again, because that's the way we've got to do it. And apparently it takes three days for a chick to become a chick on. How long have I had this now? This might be the second day or the third day. So it could be aging up today or tomorrow. Does anybody else kind of like feel low key? Like they could probably just exist on a farm talking to animals and plants. I worryingly sort of feel like I could, which yeah, not sure if that's a good thing or not, but it is how I feel. <gasps> I can encourage crop growth. No way. And I've been doing it autonomously. Well, my sim Claire is definitely smarter than me. Does this actually make them grow faster? Or is it like, oh, that feels cheaty. Feels hacky, but I'm gonna keep doing it. And I have got a new lifestyle going. I hope it's a farm related one. So as part of my country caretaker aspiration, the reward rate of which I'll get nature conservationalist. 
actually dream job right there. I've got to befriend a chicken cow alarm. I've already done part one, so this is part two. Place one wild rabbit home or flock of wild birds on your home lot. That's going to be difficult because I'm going to have to keep trying to make friends with those burps or with Hannah if I see her. And then fertilize three plants or oversized crops. It's difficult to fertilize right unless. Can I fertilize with the plantain? No. It's got to be special ones from a shop in Finchwick. Okay. But yeah, if I can't see Hannah, then although you guys were spotting her when I wasn't able to, sometimes when you play Sims, you get tunnel vision, I swear. If I can't find Hannah, we'll try again with the flock of birds. Oh, what's going on here, Mr. Fox? Why are you doing scary face outside here? I think Mr. Fox was... Oh! It's Hannah, my baby. Let's go see Hannah. Okay, so this is my friend rabbit, Hannah. It's a white rabbit with red eyes, which I think was kind of cool. Take it. Oh, it's got a gift. I can find out what the gift preferences are as well. Oh. What does admire Hannah mean? I don't know, but we'll have to go do that. Can I give it any of my gifts? Oh, I can give it a... Fi Give it a raw fish? It's gonna hate that. Also, you let your fish go off, Claire. Oh, it gave me a stitch pattern. I don't know how you know that. That's kind of weird, but that's really cool. Thank you, Hannah. <gasps> and I can ask it for gardening help. I befriended it, <gasps> which means I can now purchase the wild rabbit home. If I buy it, can I like ask Hannah to live on my lot? Look, my things are all a little bit out because that would be so cute. <gasps> gardening help enabled. Hannah will try to help out Claire by eating any weeds that appear and also give oversized crops a little extra something to enrich the soil. That's definitely rabbit poop. Oh, this is so cute. I have a friend rabbit now. I love that. Hannah, don't go. I need to smother you with love as like a final thing before we leave you for the evening. <gasps> yes, look at Oh my gosh, look. Look how cute we are together. I want to buy you a home more than I want to feed myself and buy a bed. This is the problem. This is going to be a reoccurring problem. I'm going to put the animal's needs over my own, which I also do in real life quite a lot with my own pets. Oh, I want to buy the home so much. And I've not thought <laughs> all day about trying to generate income. Where is the thing I was meant to dig up? Did I dig it up? <gasps> I did. Okay, let's open this, see what we get. Yes, two more things to sell. And really, I should buy a bed. Or should I buy a rabbit house? This is a difficult one. Can I even afford a bed? I can't. So maybe I should buy a rabbit house. <gasps> it's $400. This is a bougie rabbit house. Why is it so expensive? <gasps> a picnic basket. But I don't even have food. <laughs> the animal shed is 500 pounds. I need to figure out where I can fit this. We're probably going to do a bit of remodeling. But oh my gosh, I want everything. I want everything. And I especially want this. Look at these ideas above a station. I want to buy a pool. Are you kidding? You don't even have a bed and you want a pool? And then you also want to buy a bee box. Bee could be a great idea, by the way. Bees will help out with like uh, pollinating my crops. That could actually be big brain. Do I want to go to a bar that's not even in the UK tonight? No, strange lady, I don't. However, do I kind of want to go to the pub and get to know... Because I've got that whole mission I'm meant to be doing. Maybe I should head back to the pub. Because, look, look, I've still got to have a, a, a Henford heart to heart. I don't think any of you guys are important. No offense, but you're not important Henford and Bagley residents. This is a very snobby town. You're either important or you're not, and you're not. But are any of the stalls open? They're not. Mm. I really want to meet the girl from the stall because she looks really nice and sweet. And she's got a lovely little shop. Are you important? No, you're not, Charlie. You're useless. No one cares about you. Ooh, an important person. No offense, losers. But Agatha Crumplebottom, you're the nice one. You own the garden shop. Okay, so last episode, we met Agnes. Agnes is the mean one, although we had a hug and she loves me. She thinks I'm great crack and she gave me some cottage pie. However, I think this is her sister and her sister's meant to be a lot sweeter, but it would be... Oh, but she's bored of this conversation. She's bored of these unimportant folks. Oh, look, there's the other one. There she is stomping off in the Distance. Wait, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Come back here. Come hang out with me. I know I'm just a lowly, unimportant citizen, but please hang out with me. And can we have a Henford heart to heart, please? Because then I will complete my three heart to heart residents. Three. Ben oh my gosh, there's no chance I'm going to be able to say that sentence. But there we go. We, we completed it. It may go without saying, but if you want to grow an oversized crop, you need the room to breathe. You can't just shove them into one of those tiny planters. Make sure they have their own gardening patch. Well, I've done that, so that's bro. And then one of the best things about living on Henford and Badley is a sense of community everyone here helps foster. Thank you for checking in with a few of the locals and don't be a stranger. Can I do one of these for somebody else? I like these little challenges. <gasps> they gave me food for it. Oh my gosh, the locals know I'm a wreck and they keep feeding me, which I love. So I now have myself some pumpkin stew and Amazing. I want to do something nice for you as well. Please, can I offer to help you with some errands? Stop talking to this person. He's talking about leaving his home and to come to Henford on Badly, but you're not important. Go on. I'm making the locals like me by dressing like them. I'm like camouflaging myself, okay? And do I know you or so what's new? Who 
wrote this copy. You are a pun genius. Everything in this park has the best puns. Okay, so this will give us a decorative gnome and some crops. And this will give- Oh, this will give us everything. Okay, it's got to be this one, even though this one pays better. I didn't even realize I got paid for this stuff. And how's that garden of yours going? You do have a garden. Wait, she's meant to be nice. I still think she's posh. How's that garden of yours going? You do have a garden, right? I'm always on the lookout for some new plants. So it's settled then. You're going to help me? Oh my gosh, what are you going to ask me to do? I do not know. Oh, I can collect errands. I don't want a gnome though. But this one sounds kind of interesting because look, I've heard there's some juicy gossip around, but I've only got two ears. Can you find a gnome who knows something and some sims who don't know what they're missing? No, that one sounds ridiculous. We're going to go for this one. So harvest. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Are you kidding me, Agnes? Agatha, you were meant to be the nice one. Why have you asked me to grow a watermelon? I hate watermelon. Ah, it's like she knew. Look at her. This is typical English behavior, by the way. Pretending to be all nice. Like, oh, yes, I just need you to grow me a vegetable. Oh, that's fine. I'll grow you a vegetable. Oh, yes, it's a watermelon. She knew exactly what she was doing with that passive-aggressive request. Look at you with your dress and your sunflower. Pretending to be all wonderful and joyous. You're not because you're making me grow. Is it even a vegetable? I'm pretty sure it's a fruit. I don't know what it is actually. It probably is. But do fruit grow in trees and vegetable grow in the ground? I don't know. But she's asked me to grow. Ugh. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe. Why would you do this? I can't believe you've done this. Okay. So yeah, we've got to grow a vegetable. I'm also going to ask Sarah if, uh, sorry, we've got to grow. So we've got to grow a watermelon. They found a way to force me to do it. I feel like you guys in the comments that were defending watermelons. It's fair enough. Have your preferences. Just know you are wrong. And honeydew melons are definitely better. I feel like you guys got into the game. You changed the code in. You forced my hand. Oh, I'm a barmaid now. Nice. We're also gonna ask Sarah if she's got any requests. A simple request. Ingredients, a fresh prepared meal and fertilizer, or a new drink recipe and a freshly prepared meal. Ooh, she wants me to work as a barmaid. Oh my gosh, I'm literally behind the bar. Let's do this one. Okay, so I've got to order and drink a Bagley Berry Fizz sampler. Okay, where is this Berry Fizz? Hmm, I don't think I can make it yet. So I guess I've got to practice my mixology. <gasps> Look at me. I am the barmaid now. I've been in the town like two days and I'm already working at the local pub. Love that for me so much. Bar made Claire. I actually have worked in a bar. I used to work in a bar um, when I lived in Harrogate. And we used to do horrible split shifts. And I don't ever want to do that job again. But it's because it was like a bar that turned into a club later at night time. Pubs don't do that. Working in a pub actually sounds like it would be really nice. And I also need to deliver a blueberry, a raspberry, and a chocolate berry to the pub. Oh my gosh. Some of these are hard tasks. Really hard tasks. Can you please not be behind the bar? You don't do this. You don't take a phone call behind... This is very rude behavior. Please do not come behind the bar. Please sit in front of the bar and I'll pour you a pint. Oh, I have this other option of offering a Finchwick favor. Oh, it's like gifting. Oh my gosh, a gift of my foul fish. Don't think she's gonna like that. You can have a picture of me. Yeah, do you want a picture of me? Have a picture of me. Locals are gonna hate me so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who is this weird city girl taking over the barn that the family abandoned, by the way? And she just came and printed out her selfie and gave all look at her face. <laughs> She's just like, it's easier to laugh it off. I'm just gonna laugh it off. I can't believe she just printed out a selfie and gave it to me. Oh, and oh my gosh, look at all the crack upstairs. I didn't realize there was an upstairs that was so... Oh my gosh. Oh, and... A demon is in the bar. Great. Love that. I need to be... I need to clean out some of my CC, don't I? Okay. Lovely, 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 lovely. So that's happening. Oh, but I can't afford to buy any... Oh my god. Gosh, this is not. I'm just straight up not having a good time. I'm gonna send my little butt home. I did get paid for the errand, so. And with my errand money, can I actually buy myself a bed? Oh, <gasps> I can! Oh my gosh, yes, here we go. This is the best bed. Energy four, energy four, energy four. Oh, they're all four. And they're all uncomfortable. <gasps> Wait, this one's not uncomfortable and it relieves my stress. It's for, I'm very stressed. So I'm gonna get myself this nice little bed here and let's make it match the room. And I can actually, for the first time, since moving to Henford upon Bugley, I have actually put my pajamas on and slept in a bed. I've taken my makeup off. I've still got my eyelash extensions on, obviously. But my makeup's off and I'm actually having a proper night's sleep in a bed. This is progress. Oh, but I've still, I'm not going to uni. I'm renovating a farm. I've still woken up up absolutely miserable. I'm irritated. Probably because I've got no sanitary products. Can I buy those on the phone? I can never remember how to get these. <gasps> oh, yes. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go for recently. I've been, yeah, let's do that. No, I have $3 in the whole world. I can't even, no, no, no. I will sell a plantain, even though it's the only food. No, I can't sell it. Can I, can I sell this fish? $7. 
Should have sold it when it was fresh. I'm gonna sell my selfies. Oh, <gasps> $30 exactly I scraped together through selfie selling. That could be a lucrative business opportunity for me as well, alongside the digging a rock out every day. Oh, oh, she's foul. Go get a yourself an angry poop. Eat your little plantains to start the day. And then I've got these blackberries I need both for a challenge and also just I wanna plant them. <gasps> and oh my gosh, look who's here. It's Hannah out in the rain, hanging out on my lot because we're bestest friends. I'm going to talk about vegetables. <gasps> I could talk about broccoli all day. Hannah, please, can you help me out with my vegetables today? Why don't I have blueberries growing in like here? That kind of makes sense. It's like my garden patch. So I think having a little, a few blueberries growing in it makes perfect sense. And I've decided I like fitness. I do like fitness, so that makes total sense too. So many things making total sense today, apparently. Let's go ahead and plant these. And then with a heavy heart, I am realizing I'm gonna have to plant my watermelons, but there's no room. So unfortunately, guys, seems like that I just can't do anything about that. Oh, big sudge. And I don't know how to weed. Like, look, it's not giving me the option to weed, even though they're covered in weeds. Do I have to wait for Hannah to do it? I, I don't know. Everything's looking really weedy though. Hannah you're meant to be helping me out with these. Where you off? You've got a great hop on you. Look at that form. Beautiful. But you said you'd help me. And now you've abandoned me. Hannah, return to me, my love. And I've decided today, despite the rain, like, I'm gonna have to get used to the rain because, uh, it's England. And you just gotta, you just gotta, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time here. Buy a hot tub. Am I having a laugh? And a punch bag? My sim is me. I... I'm very confused about where my finances lie right now. All I want to do is buy things, apparently. But yeah, today I'm going to focus on making friends with a flock of birds. Just a usual Wednesday activity. <gasps> and I've just realized I don't have a shower, but I can shower in the rain. This will definitely get the locals tongues wagging. So there's an app. I don't know if you guys have it outside of England as well, but there's an app called Nextdoor. If you don't have this app already, oh my gosh, download it. It's basically a social network, but it's just for your community. I don't ever post on it. Actually, I did once when we lost Lexi, but you've got to download it for the crack because every day some new story pops up. People are fighting on there. They're vicious with each other. Oh my gosh, it's just great crack. So on the app right now on Nextdoor, someone would be posting passive aggressively because it's England. So Hemphill and Bagley is a safe and upstanding community. It would be a shame if someone was to ruin it with nudity, you know, behaviors that we would not like in our community. Just thought I'd put it on here to see if anybody else agrees with me. And everyone else would agree. And then someone would be like, I don't think we should dictate other people's behaviors. And then everyone would be like, no, Carol, I think I do get to say that. Or someone would be like, you know, we were all young ones. We know what it's like. And so would be like, no, Carol, when I was young, I knew good manners and respect. People, it's like the most vicious boomer up you've ever encountered in your whole life. Download it, it's hilarious, and I can't like look away from it. They're just so angry and vicious all the time. Oh my gosh, look at these fossils. I now have 500 pounds, which means I can now buy the rabbit hutch, the rabbit lug, but should I? I don't know. However, while I think about it, let's go and make friends with some burbs. Okay, we're back at this park, which I've still not like fully explored. Like, what's this little cute area over here? People parking their little, little Land Rovers. There's probably a bunch of like ways I can try and forage stuff to make money here. There's this pond. Very cute. Am I have to go see the pond? Oh, so you're, no, babes, no, you're not about to play in that water. Look at the water. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be be riddled with all kinds of bacteria. This, I mean, you've got your welly bobs on. You know what? you got your welly bobs on. You're fine. It's fine. And look at this nice stream running through as well. <gasps> and the ruins. Look at the ruins. I can visit them. No way. Is there anything cool here? I love these ruins. This looks just like a Cistercian Abbey near our house. Oh my gosh, it's got a rabbit and a fox on it. Ah, I love these. Oh, and there's like little things to dig. Uproot plant. Does that mean if I uproot it, I can like take it home with me and replant it? Because if so, huge. Big if true. Oh my gosh, this is actually way bigger than I, I thought it was. <gasps> and there's a little cottage here. Does someone live here? No, it's you. It's the Cistercian monk. Of course he lives near the Cistercian monastery. We could have guessed that one. And is this where he lives? Focus camera on the creature keeper. So he keeps the creatures. I'm gonna... Oh. Why did you have to ask to smell my hair? I feel like I need to know you, but you've started us off on a really odd foot, but let's do respectful introductions so we're kind of keeping our distance from the hair sniffer. Oh, and he's gone. He left us. We did not offer up our hair, so he just really said no. However, I can go inspect his cottage. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to do it. And look how cute his little house is. It's a bit run down, but it's very cute. I like it a lot. Look at his little... Oh... Well, ain't that just the cutest thing I ever saw? <gasps> and another rabbit. Oh, you've got a great color pattern. Let's say hello to you. Wait, how do I... It's... <laughs> what? You didn't want to hang out with me that much that you just dug a hole in the ground and disappeared like 
Diggler? Whoa. Okay, guess we're not making friends with that rabbit. Hanging with my bunny and my fox friends. Just not at the same time. Feel free to use my garden as you'd like. What? Oh, she is, to be fair. So this is the garden. Oh, he's, oh my gosh. Should I literally steal his plant? I'm gonna steal his plant. You said use it as you'd wish. This is literally those entitled people where you're like, yeah, you can pick an apple from my tree and then they just come and dig the tree up and they're like, yeah, but you said we can take one. <gasps> the little bun bun is out again. Yes. Hello, would you like a new friend? How do you travel underground away from me? Oh, <gasps> he really said gay rights. Love this rabbit. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm giving a little tummy tuckles. Do rabbits let you do that? I want a rabbit so badly, but it literally it literally would not last two minutes. It wouldn't last two minutes in our household. Also, why did I not change? <laughs> Do you reckon you can make the rabbits breed and have baby bun buns? Oh, that would be so cute. I, I need to try and do that. I tried to tell the rabbit a joke and broke its heart. Okay, this is not going so well. And I just realized uprooting the plants it just uproots them into garbage. It literally just kills the plant. I've been just killing well plants and this guy's actual bought plant. Okay, I feel quite bad now. I'm sorry, plants. And I'm gonna name this little bun bun before we leave because you're the second rabbit we found. I'm gonna call you Tull. And yet again, I've been completely distracted. And now I didn't speak to the burbs once. Nor can I itch. Oh my gosh, look at this area. <gasps> look with the little lights. It's so nice. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I can't even find them anymore. Oh, here they go. Oh, but they're, they're asleep for the night. Okay, so I think that was a complete... <laughs> Good effort. Good effort, babes. <gasps> and oh my gosh, a fox is stalking around your home. Hide your hands, hide your eggs. <laughs> Love that reference, but... Call the chickens in, quick. Apple, get out of there. Oh no, I am said I'm wanting to buy a bar. She's delusional. Where's this fox that's stalking? I can't see it. Oh, is it this one? Oh. <gasps> It's you again! It's you! Schnezhika has returned! Shoo! Shoo, Schnezhika! Ask her not to steal. <gasps> I want to try and be friends with it, though. <gasps> it's doing scary monster face. Are you hunting my bins? I mean, to be fair, one of our bins literally did get stolen once, so... Now I know who. I'm gonna give it a banana as an offering. Have a, a plantain, sorry. Have this plantain. This is a small fox. Do you want this little plantain? <gasps> we are now acquaintances. It's taken the- Oh, it hated it. But it's taken it and it's run off. I'd rather it take my plantain than my chick, you know? I can also admire its bright eyes and bushy tail. And do a little sing to it. If I make friends with the fox, will it not, like, kill my chickens? Because that would be great. It hates my singing so much. I am no Disney princess. And I thought, are you going into my house? You are not actually going into my house. Oh, <gasps> are the foxes meant to do this? What are you doing? Why are you in my house? Oh, we're gonna talk about nine tails. That is very cool. But why are you in my house? Why am I being bullied by a fox? Help! Oh my gosh, another fox has turned up. And also a vampire, like, just too much. Too many things wanting to kill me and my little animal family going on right now. And another fox, we've got good old now as well. <laughs> that noise. To be fair, you hear foxes all the time where I live and they don't sound as cute as that. They're like, it's awful. It's such a horrible noise. But I do like foxes. Oh my gosh, they keep going to my house. Are they meant to do this? Why are they doing this psychological warfare against me? The foxes have a plan. Where's my mushrooms? Who took my mushrooms? <gasps> Can a fox steal my mushrooms? My mushies are gone. My mushies are gone. Can a rabbit eat them? Do the rabbits eat stuff? I mean, they are looking great, but they took my mushrooms. You know what this means. I gotta plant the watermelons. I hate it here. So there they are. Hannah, you've been no help so far. My watermelons are now planted. Great. And Chick Apple has survived the night. Also, somehow got all the way out here. Was it you? Did you eat my mushrooms? You better not have done. You got feed in here. I am now friends with Apple as well. Apple, I kind of want you to age up, babes. The chick is brave today. Usually it stays in here, but it's everywhere today. That makes me feel like it's going to age up. So that's good. And now that I've got that money, I don't feel like this is the best use of it. Do I buy the rabbit home? Is it not going to help me out with my crops unless I do it? I kind of feel like if that's the case, it's sort of worth it. It does use up all of my monies. But if it's going to give me stuff, then I don't no, it kind of makes sense. I like that, that color. So there we go. Can I like assign a rabbit to it? <gasps> oh, also I needed to do it for my country caretaker aspiration, didn't I? And with my remaining $75, I am gonna... I need to fertilize three times. So I'm gonna buy some fertilizer and do my first... Is it one fertilizer $20? Is it like 
I get like a couple of goes from that. Is that the whole thing used up? Okay, that's the whole thing used up and gone. I mean, they look happy. They've got like little strands coming from them now, but that is expensive. But I've got to do it three times for my aspirations. So I guess we're fertilizing. Even though the rabbit was meant to be doing that for me, wasn't it? But it kind of didn't. But we're about to complete the next part of the country caretaker. Nice. So for a critter keeper, give three gifts to foxes, rabbits, or burbs. Craft animal treats five times. Harvest one perfect quality oversized crop. And forage five items from the bramble wood. Travel to the bramble wood. Oh, that's the place that we've been to a bunch. Okay. And let's do my daily dig and get my daily two fossils. And I've got 131. Can I get the cross stitch? I know it's, again, probably not like the most sensible thing to spend my money on, but I want to try a bunch of the new stuff in the park. So I would like to buy a cross stitch, please. Or a picnic basket, but you got no money. Don't do that. <gasps> $30. I can do it. Wait, make it cross stitch kit. <gasps> oh, so there's no point just getting that. I need the kit as well. I need some more money. Okay. Let's do some foraging. There's got to be some other stuff to dig up somewhere, right? Okay, it turns out there's not... <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling to find other things to dig up, which I did not expect to have this problem. You know, I'm literally in the wilds here. Oh, <gasps> frogs. Yes. <gasps> it's only worth $10. Why are you such a crab frog? I'm gonna sell some of my these I wanted to keep but we're gonna sell them for the cross stitch It's worth it for the cross stitch and I quite fancy doing my cross stitch out in nature So I'm gonna pop this here and this here and then when she's changed a pad, we'll give it a go Okay, so do I just okay? I pop this in my inventory and then oh <gasps> stitch from pattern. Oh my gosh. What are all these different hoop things sims and animals? small hoop a small hoop. Oh, I gotta buy wool! Wool's expensive as well. I did know that. Okay. Right, we're just gonna sell all the upgrade parts. It's worth it. I don't have a clue what I'm doing with these patterns, but we're just gonna try it all the same. And this is the only thing I seem to have. The llama corn, I think. Oh no, I got some other stuff. A rainbow on some shapes. And some hoop sticks. I wanna do a rainbow. Let's do a rainbow. And look at me doing my first ever cross stitch. This makes me really nervous because I'm not great with needles and you're pulling it very close to your eye and you're probably gonna end up pricking yourself. But look at that, look at you out here gardening, doing a bit of cross stitching. I never thought I'd see it. I never thought I'd see it, but look at you go. And I'm stitching myself a little rainbow. And I think as she's finishing this, we'll watch how she does, but it seems like a nice point to end things. So what I wanna know next episode is, should I add Ali? I kinda wanna, but I also am kind of enjoying doing this on my own. So what I could do instead is add things in the order they actually came, which would go, um, oh, hello little chick. Oh, it's so cute! Oliver, Darcy, Ali, Evie, Lexi. So if you guys would like to see me do that, please let me know in the comments below so we'll add Oliver next episode. Hopefully he won't eat the chick. That would be really bad. Uh, in real life, he totally would. And please don't forget to also go ahead and check out the Feeling Country. New drop on Feeling Peachy. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below. Don't forget as well, if you tweet a picture of yourself wearing any of the merch from Feeling Peachy and use hashtag Feeling Peachy, then you can get featured in a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this next episode of Country Living. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!